Hello there and welcome to face prep. It's three days to go to the TCS NQT and here is today's preparation strategy which will take your test taking experience up by a notch. Well, the theme of this particular strategy is every section matters. So if you're writing the TCS NQT, you will know that there are three mandatory sections, numerical ability, reasoning ability, verbal ability. And if you've opted for the subject NQT, then you would also need to write a programming MCQ section, programming logic, as well as a coding section involving two questions, right? Now, of course, 100%, there is going to be an overall cutoff for the entire test. That is definitely going to be there, right? So which is possibly going to be what you might get as an NQT score. So there is definitely going to be an overall cutoff. Any popular online test, a recruitment test will end up having an overall cutoff. And of course, it is a no brainer that when there are different sections, which test you on different, different things, there's also going to be a sectional cutoff. Right? So which means you need to focus on ensuring that you do well in every single section. All right, now, but I know your next question will be, okay, so what is the sectional cutoff? All right. So firstly, I would like to let you know that no company in the world will reveal what is your sectional cutoff or their cutoff before a test. Cutoffs, especially in events like the TCS NQT, which are nationwide national qualifier tests, they tend to get decided at a relative level because overall there are so many lakhs of people who will take the test and across the competition, how did people perform, there will be a cutoff which will get decided. So it is the performance of the competition in a relative manner at the end of the test which will mostly decide the cutoff for tests like this. So I'm sure that you will see, you would have seen a lot of videos where people say, okay, so the cutoff of this section is going to be 75%, 65%, 80%. They are nothing but educated guesses, right? So you don't go into believing that, okay, so the cutoff is going to be 65%. I have to score these many questions. Don't go in believing like that because the competition performs better. The cutoff could only raise. Simple, right? So your strategy here is to ensure that you get every section, you do every section as well as possible, right? Now, which means you should not ignore your weaker sections. Now the test, the way the test itself is designed is likely to work in your favor to help you resist this temptation of ignoring your weaker sections. Because if the DRC and the official practice test pattern repeat on D-Day, it means that you have a fixed timer for every single section, which means if let's say you are not so strong in numerical ability, you still have to wait for the entire 40 minutes to run out and only then you can go to the next section. Now in those 40 minutes, while you're taking the numerical ability section, for example, you might as well ensure that you try to get as many questions right as possible to help your chances of getting a very good score. So every section matters. And in these next three days, identify what your weaker areas are. Don't ignore them put in efforts in terms of improving them. From face prep, a huge all the best. Hey YouTube, how are you doing? Stay tuned to face prep for more awesome videos. Don't forget to subscribe.